Hello, welcome back to my vlog. This is so weird saying that, but I think I haven't seen you guys. I don't even know if someone's watching this video, so I think I haven't posted a video in like a very long time. I think the last time was like January or last year. Not sure. I still have two videos that I haven't posted. I haven't even edited anything on those videos. I still have those raw cut clips, you know. And nothing's going according to plan. So much for my new year resolutions. I actually thought that I'll be a lot more free this semester as it is my last semester here. But unfortunately, our faculty just changed a lot of things. So it's just gotten more stressful and more hectic. But I'll try my best to get those videos edited like after my midterm examination and that's why I'm vlogging today. So today is the 16th of March 2020 and even though I like to say the dates in almost all of my videos, I think like this is the best time to say it because it's important. By now I think everyone's like already aware or you already know about the pandemic that's taking over the world. COVID-19, coronavirus disease, uh, if you're here thinking that I'm going to talk about the disease, then you're wrong. I'm not going to talk anything about the disease. This is solely about my midterm examination. So the reason I'm not going to talk about it, even though I'm a medical student and we are taught to educate the public on, on health related issues, right? But I think there are like enough professionals who are doing a really good job at educating the public out there and no matter what advice I give you or what information I give you it's not going to top those verified official sources so if there's one education that I can give you today or one information that I can give you today is for you to stay educated follow the guidelines stay updated on these official verified sources and the sources are WHO CDC and if you're Malaysians, my fellow Malaysians, please don't forward WhatsApp messages, do not retweet tweets, do not post on your Insta stories things that are not verified. Also, please do not be selfish. This is a situation where the last thing you can do is be selfish because you are not truly safe as long as the people around you are not safe. So help each other, make sure that everyone is safe. That's all I can say. So let's get to my midterm examination. So now about my mid semester exam. It's supposed to be on Thursday. And then our coordinator, your coordinator, he said that he'll try to make it a day earlier, which is Wednesday. So we were like fine. And then COVID-19 happened. So most of the universities are like shutting down and asking their students to go back home and they might conduct the classes like online. Obviously they, they do want to reduce the rate of cases so that's the safest thing to do. Understood? But today at around 5 something pm if I'm not mistaken, they said that the exams of this week are postponed as well. Students are allowed to go home. However, you have to do a thousand word essay about the pandemic that's going on around. And I thought like, okay, that's fine. Like, even though I was like thinking why suddenly an essay, but the thing is you need to do an essay. It's compulsory because the essay will be a criteria for you to sit for the exam. In easy Malay words, Kalau tak tulis essay, tak boleh ambil exam. But then I was like, okay lah, tak pula, it's fine. Because I'm gonna have time to write the essay since the exams are postponed. But then suddenly at around 5 plus ish pm also, our coordinators said that they're still working on having the exams this week online. And we still have to write and submit the essay. So the essay needs to be submitted on Wednesday. And if the exams are held this week, then it will be on Wednesday also. So I'm like, uh, stressed out, stress. But the reason why I'm stressed is because if I spend my time doing the essay, I might not have enough time to revise for my exam in case it's this week. But if I don't do the essay and revise instead, I won't be able to sit for the exam. 
and that's the reason why I'm vlogging because I plan to complete the essay tonight as early as possible and start revising for my examination and I thought that if I vlogged I'll be able to complete my essay faster but I think I might be just procrastinating now talking to my phone but uh, I think I'll get started like right now oh yeah and warning you'll probably be seeing me stressing out thinking why did I even take up this course, why did I even come here, being depressed, procrastinating, all those negative things that you should avoid, you might be seeing me doing, so I'm sorry about that, but there are always days like this, especially if you're a student or if you're working, so just have to accept it and complete this essay as soon as possible. Let's get started, I need to stop talking. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Uh, this is where I should be writing my essay. And there's currently 30 words. Just kidding. There aren't any words actually because obviously my name, title, you know, matrix number are all not included in the thousand words. So we are starting at zero words, okay? And I've already opened up like sources such as CDC, uh, WHO. And I think I'll open up Kumanjan Kasyatan dish as well. What? What's this? a solid plus minus 40 minutes I think to complete the first one but I did take like 5 minutes to even think about how I'm going to start it so the title is Pandangan and Seek Up Sayers but then has also have come but Karhada Pandemic COVID-19 so in English it will be like my opinions and my actions as a medical student of the medical faculty of University of Pachajaran towards the COVID-19 pandemic but my entire first paragraph is about the disease more than my opinion on it I think I'm just you know I just want to give like an introduction but I made it like an entire paragraph of 300 words so the next two paragraphs hopefully will be like more on my opinions and what I think about it and what I'm doing as a medical student. Honestly, not much. Yep, just wanted to show that we're done with the first paragraph. I took plus minus 40 minutes. It's currently 7.46 actually. In Malaysia, it's 8.46 p.m. I'm just like a homesick student who, who wants to keep track of the Malaysian time so I didn't change it on my laptop. And we are at 351 words minus the 31 words from my name and title and everything it should be around 320 something words should be fine right okay let's continue with the second paragraph i thought i'll be more stressful than this but i think i'll be more stressful revising for my examination there's a lot of slides to read powerpoint slides wait you're moving because i'm setting up the tripod I want to start but then I got hungry so I'm going to have something to eat while I type. So this is the first phase of me procrastinating. 
I'm warning you. Okay. Food is more important than this essay. So, bye bye. distracted for like half an hour I have to start on the second paragraph now I think I'll check in once I'm done the second paragraph because I don't think that watching another time lapse of me completing the second paragraph would be interesting see you soon I'm stressed. Uh, I'm so dumb. Uh, problem right now is that I've exceeded a thousand words. That's my requirement, a minimum of a thousand words. But I got carried away writing and I'm not done yet. I'm stuck again and I'm like, oh my god, shouldn't have made the intro so long. I'm gonna try and get this done as soon as possible. It's way past my target time. Actually, I targeted like to get it done by 9.30, but it's 10.27 right now. I have three minutes. I don't think I can get it done in three minutes, but I'll try. My head feels so hot. It's probably because I was staring at the screen for so long and yep. Okay. So now it's like my rest time. I'm probably gonna have a short nap before I continue my revision. So I hope that uh, this proves that even though you feel like something is impossible, even though you procrastinate a bit, it's still doable. Even though I didn't finish it on time, like according to my goal time or my target time, but I still managed to finish it a little later, not like too late. I think if I didn't set that goal, I don't think I would have completed it today. I'm so exhausted. Oh yeah, that's my essay and done. Okay, let's check it. it's still there. Just in Yep, it's there. Now it's time for some YouTube law DIY updates. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later or not see you guys again. This might be just it. So, bye bye.